The deadly violence of the January 6 riots revealed glaring gaps in security. The officer in the middle of this melee from that day is former Capitol Police Sergeant Aquilino Gunnell. Oh, it's, it's disturbing. He's still worried that a vulnerability remains and it could lead to a big problem. Uh, the protocol is for them to pass us uh, uh, around security. Members of Congress are never security screened when they enter the Capitol complex. And some openly brag about carrying guns, even down to the House floor. You know, I'm actually really enjoying um, the United States Capitol to start feeling like America again, a little more freedom. After the Capitol riot, then Speaker Nancy Pelosi put up magnetometers around the chamber. But the second Republicans took the majority, the mags came down. So you know there are, me are fellow members that have weapons on the floor of the house? Well, absolutely, the day the metal detectors came down. Maybe the day before, who knows? This loophole is something California Congressman Jared Huffman wants closed. It's crazy to just assume that all of these people are immune to those factors and that they can bring guns into the United States Capitol and nothing will go wrong. Um, it is going to happen at some point. In a letter shared first with NBC News, Huffman asks President Biden to appoint a new architect of the Capitol, who's responsible for the administration of the security of the complex and will deal directly with this issue. Sergeant Cannell argues the lack of screening for potentially hundreds of people makes the job of Capitol Police more difficult. When, when you have members of Congress uh, inciting violence, inciting the people to come and breach the Capitol, and then imagine if they all have weapons inside, it will be chaos. And with threats against lawmakers at an all-time high, the mix of political passion and guns makes GOP Congressman Troy Nels, a former sheriff, nervous. I support two-way. I'm all about that. Uh, but um, this is United States Capitol, and, and uh, it's kind of like, you know, would you allow people to carry weapon, weapons at the county courthouse in civil trials dealing with... Uh, divorce proceedings. Right, right. No, <laughs> the emotions are too high. Ryan Nobles joins us tonight from Capitol Hill Live. Ryan, I got to think that this issue is so serious that it had to be brought up and now enter the public forum, even though by highlighting this, there's a lot of risk in exposing a vulnerability at the Capitol. How is the Capitol Police responding to all this tonight? Tom, they didn't want to comment on it. It's not the Capitol Police's responsibility to create this policy. It's only uh, their responsibility to enforce a policy like this. It is the Capitol Police Board's responsibility to do that. That's part of the reason that Congressman Huffman is asking the new architect of the Capitol to weigh in on this. But I can tell you, Tom, this is something that people talk about on a regular basis up here, that the 535 members, the people that they're traveling with, are never security screened at any point when they enter this building. It is a security loophole, and it is one that people are finally starting to talk about needing to be closed. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.